Yeah, negotiations like this are usually kept private, but now both sides are speaking out, giving their sides of the story. When the process doesn't go your way, you don't go airing your frustrations to the public. We all have to be involved in this process. There are rules that have to be followed. This is a failure of leadership. It's a back and forth between the Oklahoma City Police Department and the Fraternal Order of Police over this body cameras. The old ones are out. The new ones are in, but not on officers yet. We're kind of stuck where we are now. We have the new cameras in place. They are out there, but we don't have all the features activated. And uh, um, right now, the cameras that we're installing in our vehicles, uh, we can't turn those on at all. The new cameras include features that automate when a body camera is turned on, give live streaming capabilities and automatically turn cameras on for other officers nearby during an incident. Hey, gun. No. Hey. Gun. But the union says some of those features were not written into the policy they agreed to. There's so many details in this policy that we have shown that we're willing to, we don't have a problem with it, we just got to have it, have it uh, tightened up. And to the officers and members who must wear these cameras on a daily basis, you know the micromanaging and nitpicking that occurs. We are looking to shore up some of those loopholes so that you can more and most effectively do your job. These are just technology upgrades. Um, it's no different. You know, really the procedures we have now would apply to that. After several failed negotiations, a deal has still not been reached. The FOP has filed a grievance and this could go to arbitration, but both sides say they are willing to sit down and talk this through.